Good afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV Current. I am Maurire Rabila Lawal. First at the major headlines. FG seeking alternative funding for oil, gas industry development, NUPRC. Obaseki, FG may not be able to pay workers beyond June. It will either remove subsidy or print money. Solodo threatens to cut salary of workers who obeys and observes sit-at-home order in Anambra. Gunmen kidnap two Catholic priests in Delta. And on sports, Iwobi gets very good rating in Everton's draw against Leicester City. Now the news in detail. The Nigerian Upstream Downstream Regulatory Commission, NUPRC, says the federal government has concluded plans to explore alternative funding models to develop the country's oil and gas resources. Benga Komalafe, the chief executive of NUPRC, said this on Monday during the opening ceremony of the Petroleum Technology Association of Nigeria, PETEN, pavilion and exhibition stand at the ongoing offshore technology conference in Houston, Texas, United States. Mr. Komalafe said that the need to develop the country's hydrocarbon resources required huge funding ends the decision of NUPRC to develop an alternative funding model for the industry. According to him, Nigeria will not be left behind in the energy conversation discussion as the country is a place where needs meet opportunities. Nigeria with abundant oil and gas reserves and other resources of energy mix is well positioned to be a superpower if all these hydrocarbon resources are well coordinated, he said. Mr. Kamalafe said the signing into law of Petroleum Industry Act, PIA, had created a landmark reform in the petroleum industry, including an attractive physical and regulatory regime. Also, the Payment Secretary and the Power and Secretary, beg your pardon, of the Petroleum Ministry, Gabriel Aduda, said the Petten Pavilion at the OTC showcased Nigeria's oil and gas industry diversity. He said about eight African countries were part of the ongoing exhibition, adding that other African countries would join the conference. According to him, this is extremely important because the place of local content cannot be overemphasized. Going on to the next story. Godwin Obasaki, governor of Edo State, says the federal government may not be able to pay worker salaries beyond June without massively printing money or removing a petrol subsidy. The cable reported that President Mohammed Buhari in 2022 affirmed that the costly petrol subsidy would end by 2023. Speaking on Monday at a Workers' Day celebration in Benin, Edo State Capital, Obasaki told Nigerians and workers in particular would face hardship if the government decides on any of the options. It would be a miracle for the federal government and state government to pay salaries beyond June this year without resorting to massively printing money or removing fuel subsidy. Either of these decisions will bring more hardship and pains to Nigerians, particularly workers, he said. We must all make sure that the burden and pain of these measures, which must be taken, are not carried by workers alone. Obasaki said when the Edo state government announced the increment of the minimum wage to 40,000 naira in 2022, he expected the federal government and other state government to follow suit immediately. And going to the next story, Anambra State. Anambra State Governor Charles Solodo has threatened workers in the state who observe the Monday sit at home order imposed by the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, with, with salary cuts going forward. Solodo, who made a threat while addressing state workers during the 2023. May Day celebration held at the Alex Equipment Square, Alka, on Monday, said the sit at home order, which has become an excuse for workers to stop coming to work on Mondays, would no longer be accepted by government. The illegal Monday sit at home has become an excuse for workers to stop coming to work on Mondays. This cannot continue. You cannot be working for just four days a week and earn full salaries, Solido said. We must get back to working on Mondays. If we do, if we do not go to work, we must not get full salary. We must be paid proportionally with the number of days we work. If we must continue staying away from work on Mondays, then we will start coming to work on Saturday. 
you must do your work and we cannot be working for 70 percent and in one ten percent we will quote your salaries when you fail to come to work on mondays the governor said going on to the next story it's coming from delta state that tension has gripped the catholic community in delta state as two priests Reverend Father Chotrus Kuna and Reverend Father Raphael Ogiba have been abducted in Agoro Otto area near Wari Delta State. Information gathered that the two clerics were forcefully taken away by yet to be identified gunmen along the Agoro Otto road on Saturday night while on their way to Ugeli. A statement issued by Reverend Father Okereke Kizito have made available to journalists in Wari on Monday explained that Father Chotrus, who works in Ibadan, was on a visit to his colleague of the Catholic Diocese of Wari, Reverend Father Ogiba. The boat later went to see another priest around Agoro Oto, and on their way back, they were abducted, the statement reads. The statement called for prayers for safe release of the abducted priests. We ask for intense prayers for quick and safe release. May Jesus, the high priest, and the good shepherd take care of the priests, and may our mother thrive at Mirabul Queen, and victories of scorched stats in the sea for them, he said. The police public relations officer for Delta State Command, DSP Bright Edafe, could not be reached for comment on the incident as at the time of filing this report. To end the news is a sports story. Alex Iwobi got very good rating as a score to help relegation threaten Everton, Old Leicester City to a 2 2 draw away on Monday's Premier League tie. The rating, which was done by Liverpool Echo, saw he will be given 7 out of 10 of his performance. The Super Eagles was at fault for Leicester City's second goal by Jamal Vardy, but he redeemed himself by drawing Everton level in the 54th minute. It was his first goal since October 2022 and his second league strike this season. Commenting on Iwobi's display, Liverpool Echo Roof brought plenty of energy down the right and redeemed himself for his mistake giving up possession cheaply for Leicester City's second goal by taking his equaliser calmly, rifling in a low drive at the back post. The draw saw Everton remain in the relegation zone as they occupy 19th with four games left. That ends the national news this hour from BGI TV coverage. Before we go, some major headlines. FG seeking alternative funding for oil and gas industry Obasaki, FG may not be able to pay workers beyond June. Another one, Solido threatens the court salary of workers who observe sit at home order in Anambra. And to Delta State, we brought to you, government kidnapped two Catholic priests. And lastly, it will be get very good rating in everything's 2 2 draw with Leicester. For more updates on YouTube, our handle is BGI TV Current. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. Select option all to access our broadcast. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawi Adebayo. Please like and follow the page. For other placement of goods and services, coverage of events and functions, please dial the phone number streaming on your screen. Thank you for watching. I am Mohi Remila Lawa. Good afternoon. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle Audio Jungle